Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Lance 2285. It's going to be a beautiful rear kitchen floor plan, very high quality, four season capable. But let's go ahead and start taking a look of some of the features on the outside. I want to start off right up front and that's going to be on your power tongue jack. This is absolutely fantastic because you don't have to crank it up and down when you're connecting or disconnecting to your uh, tow vehicle. It's nice and simple, just flip of a switch here. It's also going to have a level on top as well as a light in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that, you're going to have your propane tanks with your cover. That way it's going to hide the unsightly tanks. Super nice and easy to access. You can just lift this top right up. You have access to both your tanks here. And then of course this just folds right back down. Behind your tanks, you're going to have a battery tray. So you do have space for two batteries uh, in case you do want a second battery. Right underneath that, you're going to have your spare tire. And then you will also see in the corner, you're going to have a red switch. That's going to be your battery disconnect. So huge advantage of that is when you're done camping, instead of having to uh, you know, tear open your battery box and disconnect your battery posts and terminals, super simple, you just flip the switch and it kills all power. That way you're not going to drain your battery down. So we start to take a look on the side here. You have a great spot for your sewer hose. It has a nice little home, just peeks right in there. And then right here, you're going to have your pass-through storage. Now what I love that they do in the Lance pass-through is we did get the option to go ahead and get the tray. This is a huge tray. It's a, a definitely a huge advantage to have. Super easy to pull in and out, but this gives you access to everything in the pass-through. You know, normally it doesn't matter how big your pass-through is, you're just going to fill it up with more stuff, and then half the time you can't get to it. With the tray, you have access to it all the time, and this will open up on both sides. If we take a look up top, you're going to notice our awning. So I love the awning they put on Lance. That's going to be an upgraded, carefree of Colorado awning. So a couple things I love about it. One, if you notice, there's not going to be arms that go down the side. So that's going to be advantageous because when the awning's out, it's not going to feel like you're boxed in. You're not going to have a big arm here to contend with. You're going to have full access to the entire side of the trailer as your campsite. Uh, your arms, you'll notice, are going to be right up top, and so your awning's just going to come straight out. The other thing I love about it is it's just going to be a uh, super simple one touch. So all you have to do is touch it. You don't even have to hold the button down. It'll automatically roll out for you and it's going to have a wind, uh, wind sensor built in. So if it does start to get too windy, it'll go ahead and roll itself up so you don't have any damage to your awning. Now if you are going to be camping where it's going to be windy, uh, you know, maybe you're on a beach where it's going to be, you know, normal winds but not winds you'd like, get from a storm, you can go ahead and disable that option so the awning does stay out but it is there uh, for your safety also it is going to have a LED light in the barrel of the awning so the awnings all the way extended that light will shine back on your campsite one of the things we'll notice right here, you do have propane quick connect. That's going to be fantastic if you have an outside grill. You can set it up right here, plug it in. That'll feed off your 20 pound bottles instead of having to bring your little uh, Coleman propane bottles with you. So just an added uh, feature to have there. Super simple to get into the coach. You're going to have two steps. If you notice, this step is going to be nice and low, so it's easy to get in, not going to be tough on the knees. Then you're going to have a nice big grab handle to go ahead and climb on in. Now one of the things I love about Lance when it comes to towability is that Lance is going to be low profile. It's going to sit lower to the ground than a lot of your campers. So that's why it only requires two steps and why that first one's going to be so low. The reason they do that, when your camper sits low, you're not going to get as much headwind and it's going to be a better tow experience for you all the way around. Now when we talk about Lance construction, one of the things I do want to talk about is the four season capability. These are one of the few units out there that are going to be four season certified, meaning you can camp in this in the dead of winter. That's going to be a huge feature, especially if you're maybe a deer hunter where you're going to be out to deer camp. This is a great camper to do it in. Your tanks are going to actually be set into separate tanks, so you have a tank within a tank. Then you're going to have heat ducts run to that, so your tanks are going to constantly be heated. Also, all your plumbing, including your valves, are going to be be insulated and tucked up underneath so that way nothing is going to freeze on you. That's going to be a big deal. Also, as we start to talk about towability, I do want to point out here you are going to have the upgraded Dexter axles as well as self-adjusting brakes, which again is going to help your tow experience. 
You're also going to get aluminum rims on there so they're not as likely to rust and you're going to have nitrogen filled tires. Up top here you'll notice you have a couple speakers, that way if you want to sit outside underneath the awning, jam out to some music, you can definitely do that. Now in this floor plan you do have two entryways. This is going to be considered your main entryway as the other one's going to lead into the bedroom. But this one will lead up into the uh, entertainment and kitchen area of the coach. Again you're going to have two steps. You're going to have an easy grab rail. They put it on both entryways. Most of your manufacturers don't do that. But it's the little things that Lance does where you'll really start to notice the quality. And that's going to be one of them. Also because this is your main entryway they are going to put keyless entry on here. So if you don't have a key no problem. Punch in the code. Go ahead and and walk up and in. As we move around to the back of the coach, I do want to show that you're going to have a ladder that's going to be attached, that way you don't have to bring one with you. Now look at the thickness of the ladder, this is attached really well, I can shake the whole camper, nice thick ladder, that way as you're climbing up you're not going to feel like it's going to break, like you're going to fall off, that's going to be a sturdy ladder for you. Now once you're up there it is going to be a fully walkable roof, so feel free to do jumping jacks up there if you want, uh, but mainly it's going to be for maintenance so you can get up there and clean it off, or if you want to get up there to get a better view, uh, maybe at a sporting event or uh, you know you have a, a beautiful site you can go ahead and climb up on the roof and enjoy it. On the off door side of the coach right here you're going to have your electric plug in. Um, you know it's great to have a detachable electric cord because this way you're not going to have a big hole where rodents like mice or ants or anything can crawl up and in and also you can detach it when you're done and put the cord inside it's just going to be a better system overall. Here you're going to have your cable and satellite hookup as well as your outside shower. Your outside shower is going to have both cold cold and hot water, so of course you can use it to uh, rinse off your feet after the beach or maybe wash the dog or anything else you're going to need it for, you're absolutely able to do so. Right here is going to be our slide. So Lance is going to be lightweight but they're still going to give you a full extension slide which is great. And then right up top above that they're going to make sure that you have your slide topper on there. That way it's going to be a lot easier for maintenance when you're done camping and you put your slide in. You don't have to worry about going up there and having a stick or something that's going to jam up your seal because that slide topper is going to protect it. Built into the slide here, just in case the front pass through storage wasn't enough, you get another huge storage area. So if you take a look, this is great storage, a perfect place for tackle box, fishing poles, maybe some pool noodles if you plan on going to the pool or other kind of inflatables, but it's just great to have that extra storage. Alright folks, I know there's a lot to talk about on the outside of the 2285 because it's gorgeous, but let's go ahead and take a look at the inside and see why I love this rear kitchen floor plan. Welcome to the beautiful spacious inside of the Lance 2285. Let's go ahead and start on the rear kitchen. So this is going to be one of your main features of the coach, your rear kitchen. If we take a look here, you get very large nor cold fridge and freezer. This way you have plenty of space for all the food you're going to want to bring with you. And one of the things I love about nor cold is right here we're going to go ahead and have our adjustment for how cold we want it. Nice and easy to adjust, there's not going to be any guessing. Also this will run off of LP or electric and it will have automatic switch over so you run it off LP, plug into shore power will switch over for you. As we take a look at the rest of our kitchen you'll see you have nice big countertop, great prep space. You do get a cover for your three stove burner which when I open that up, or I'm sorry three burner stove top, there's going to be that right there, cover is going to be built in for you. And I do want to make note this is going to be an Atwood cooktop. Lance makes sure they put Atwood in because it's going to give you better flame control so you're not going to burn your food like you will in a lot of RV campers. So you start to take a look here you can see you're going to have nice good sized oven there for anything that you want to bake and you have great storage next to that. You're going to have these large plastic trays. Now I say I have a lot of people that say Ian why plastic? You know it's a high end camper why do they put plastic in it? You know what it's actually a really good idea because you can take these out you can take them anywhere. If you want to use them for a wash basin you know when you're, when you're done with your silverware throw it in there to wash you can absolutely do that. You can take them outside and they're going to be super easy to rinse and wash out. They're not going to get gross like a lot of drawers do. So it really is a fantastic system that they use there. Also right over here you're going to have additional storage if you take a look, nice deep storage there. Now on our countertop itself of course we're going to have our sink here in the corner. We lift that up, it's going to be double bowl sink which is wonderful and we're going to have a sink top cover that comes with it. When we flip this over this is going to be cutting board quality so you can use this as a cutting board and then of course flip it back over so no one is the wiser. 
Up top, we're gonna have a fully functional hood with our light and fan. Here's going to be our tank monitoring panel, nice and easy to see. And then next to that, we're going to have our microwave. Also, we're gonna have huge storage area up top here that is going to have uh, the struts built in so that way, um, you know, it'll support itself. You don't have to hold it open. And same thing here. Now, one of the other things that I wanna note while we're looking at the cabinets, take a look at the top line right here. You see how this goes right up to the ceiling? That doesn't happen in every camper. If you take a look in most, you'll notice they're gonna have gimp molding. Lance doesn't have to do that because they use precision CNC cutting when they're cutting all their woodwork. So they're able to get a perfect line right up against the ceiling. Everything's gonna be square, everything's gonna be flush because they don't wanna build imperfections into the coach. Again, that's gonna be a big deal. And and all their uh, cabinetry is going to be residential grade. Everything's gonna be screwed and glued. This is solid stuff. You can pound on this and it's not gonna budge. The ceiling, solid. That's what Lance is all about. Nice, solid construction. If we take a look over here, you're gonna see we have our jackknife sofa, and extremely comfortable, uh, especially for a jackknife sofa, nice and easy to lift up, and then it just drops right down. If we notice underneath here, this is gonna be our winterization system. Again, nice and easy to access. You'll have your valve right there, and your, water, or your pump is gonna be built right there too, so you can just flip the switch, put it into your glycol, and go ahead and pump it through for easy winterization. Also, you're gonna have a nice key ring right here when you enter of course we'll have a window extra plug-in so that way if you're sitting in the couch you want to play on your electronics you can do that while plugged in and then up top we get huge storage again look at that nice large storage areas they are going to be supported by the struts which is wonderful here you're going to have uh, your digital TV antenna and then you'll have a skylight here as well. That way it's really gonna help let in a lot of natural light, especially in conjunction with all the windows. Here's gonna be our slide that we saw when we were outside. Huge U dinette. This is fantastic, it's a great seating area. You have the couch, you have the dinette. Excellent to sit around so you can enjoy meals, your morning coffee or whatever you would like. Also built in, take a look at that. Huge storage areas. When you're looking at you know, some smaller campers like, like this Lance, you wanna make sure you're gonna have plenty of storage and that's what it's all about. They make sure they utilize all the space to give you as much storage as possible. Also, this will drop down into a bed. The table will drop down, there's gonna be rails right here, and the pads are going to go on top of the table. And that's gonna be able to sleep two full adults. So if you do have guests, no problem, they do have a place to sleep, which is great. Also, you get perfect or, uh, great windows all the way around to let in a lot of light, and you get this wonderful light fixture. The thing I love about this light fixture, you have this switch right here, look at that. You have a dimmer. Now, what do I need that for, you may say? I'll tell you what, it's pretty great. If you have other guests maybe that are sleeping and you wanna come out here and have a coffee, you can just have it nice and low to make sure you don't wake up your guests in the morning. Or maybe at night you wanna turn it down a little so it's not quite as bright. It really is a nice feature to have. Also, I do get some people that ask me, Ian, why is the dinette raised up? Why is it a raised slide? Well, if you remember me talking when I was outside, I talked about Lance being low profile. So in, able to, in order to do that, they keep the, the floor level where it is and your slide's gonna be raised. What they could do, and what a lot of manufacturers do, they raise the floor up to this level of the slide in order to get you what they call a flush floor slide. But then again, your unit sits higher, you have to add that third step, and you're gonna get a much worse tow experience. So Lance likes to keep it low and just have you step up into the dinette, which in my eyes is definitely a, a good trade-off. Now here's gonna be our entertainment system. We're going to have our TV. This will run off 10 volt, which is wonderful. Uh, and that will be on a swivel arm, so you can watch it on the couch, watch it in the dinette when you're cooking food. You get good storage underneath there. Again, that's gonna have a strut on it as well. And then beneath that, you're gonna have your multimedia center. So this is going to be a radio, CD, as well as a DVD player. So you can pop a DVD in here and watch it on the TV. Also, it will be Bluetooth capable, so if you do have a cell phone or iPod, you can connect to that wirelessly to play your music. Underneath, again, you're going to get additional storage and great space. All right, that's gonna do it for in here. Why don't we go ahead and check out the bathroom and bedroom? 
on your way to the front of the coach you will find you're going to get a massive closet this is perfect a huge wardrobe closet you get the hanging space but you're also going to get plenty of other space for everything else you're going to want to bring with you so whether you want to put a trash can in there dirty clothes bin or anything else there is plenty of space now right here is going to be our uh, medicine cabinet that is going to be mirrored and of course we're going to have storage behind that also beneath that we're going to have our vanity nice big sink there extra countertop space the counter just lifts up like so and then we're going to have storage underneath as well now both uh, when you walk in and when you walk into the bedroom you're going to have a curtain which is fantastic that way you can close it off for privacy mirror going into the bathroom and then we can go ahead and head right in you'll see in our shower we have a huge skylight up top lets in a lot of natural sunlight which is great our shower wand makes it nice and easy to wash we have some shelves there uh, and as well as a nice big shower basin you're going to uh, have a toilet paper holder which is already installed for you and of course our stool and then up top we're going to have a nice shower caddy for all of our other items like sh uh, soap shampoo and everything we're going to need in the bedroom of the 2285 we're going to get a 60 by 80 residential queen in here so that way it's going to be a full queen so you can sleep comfortably also it is going to lift up and you will have additional storage underneath on either side of the bed you'll see we have nice large storage space you get a huge shelf in here which is fantastic uh, you're going to have some accent lighting there it's also going to have electrical outlets on both sides that's going to be perfect for charging any electronic devices or if you have a CPAP machine that allows you to sleep on either side of the bed also above the shelf you have great wardrobe space which does have a hanging rod in there so you will have that on both sides perfect for hanging clothes you get a shelf up top here with a light there beautiful huge window here uh, that's the window we saw on the outside but that really lets in a lot of natural light into the bedroom as well well as the two windows on both sides also on either side of the bed you have a full-length drawer here which allows for extra storage as well last but not least right up top you do have a place to mount a TV satellite cable connection if you have a 10 volt plugs in right there and of course our electrical outlet Again, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. There's too much stuff to talk about that makes the Lance so great. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on the video or give us a call here at American RV and we'll be happy to answer them for you. It's a fantastic floor plan, beautiful rear kitchen. Definitely come out and check it out today. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed the tour and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.